1. Cole McCarthy was hot, hot and bored. The damp heat of a New Hampshire summer had turned the air to soup, especially in the upstairs train depot office. The 13-year-old gripped the wooden arms of his father's chair and spun in squeaky circles, stirring up the first breeze he had felt all day. Before it could slow, he leapt off the chair, banged into the wall, and nearly knocked down a photograph of his father shaking hands with some important person, one of many. Cole straightened the picture, strolled past the war poster of Uncle Sam, and stepped out onto the balcony. The train depot below bustled with passengers and workers rushing in all directions. Cole sighed as he rested his forearms on the rail before spotting Norm and his dog, Diesel, strolling between two smaller buildings. Norm was a small, wiry man, and Diesel was a fat, spoiled black Labrador that followed Norm around as he got lined out for the day, which basically amounted to Norm sipping his coffee while delaying the inevitable work. He didn't technically work for the railroad, but he was Richard McCarthy's friend, so nobody really bothered him about it. Cole waved, and when the pair didn't notice him, watched them disappear before he went back inside. He pointed back at Uncle Sam as he ambled to the far end of the office, and then paused to contemplate the faded sign that had hung on the wall as long as he could remember. Think not about what you are doing, but why you are doing it. Wrong or right, effort is put into every decision you make, so make sure your effort reflects who you truly are. Dexter Riley Cole had heard plenty of whispers about his dad's rise to the top, not having been born into money. New rich or nouveau riche, they called it, whatever that meant. But Cole knew it was just who his dad was, a hard worker, which was also why he was never home, and why Cole waited so impatiently for him to return each time he went away, like today. He flipped open a leather-bound logbook, full of proof that his dad was busy every day. Cole slammed it shut, plopped back down in the squeaky chair, dug in his pocket and fished out the brass compass his father had given him before he left, a promise of the hiking trip they would take as soon as he got back. Cole had been looking forward to today for weeks, all the while at home with his stepmother, Phyllis. 